and they're off. And Anan reared at the wrong time, missed it by several lengths. Brazen Bolt and Ocean Star well into stride with Squealer and Derra in there racing on the far side. Four wheel drive dashing along, followed by instinctive move JM Jungle, then fighter pilot power train. Further back to Rebel at Dawn, Edward Cornelius. Anthem Nationals racing down the centre and is outpaced and is racing alongside Aman. And as they head down towards the uh, final. 400 metres on the near side. Get is trying to get into it. The leader on the far side is Brazen Bolt from Squealer. It's Brazen Bolt by several lengths. Squealer on the far side, second place. JM Jungle, Brazen Bolt, stable companion. Lime Green Jacket, instinctive move, Rebel at Dawn. Then fighter pilot, Get it is also beginning to rock and roll. It's Brazen Bolt over on the far side from Squealer and JM Jungle. Sticking to that far running rail is Brazen Bolt, who's got a good length on them. Brazen Bolt has won it. Squealer second place ocean star nationwide and jm jungle all involved for places over the thousand meters is stable companion jm jungle has raced near side Well, let's have a word with winning jockey then, Alberta Sanna. Second time I've spoken to you today. It's turning out to be a very good day. Nice to get a, a, a ride on this horse and a, a, a decisive move to get on the rail there. Well, uh, I was drawing five and uh, the opposite rail was too far away. So I spoke with the trainer and uh, he was he agreed to me with me to go on the rail, on the near side rail. The horse, he was extremely well. And I have to thank you, the connection, to to give me a chance to ride this uh, magnific magnificent horse and uh, easy ride, beautiful. <laughs> Very easy ride, it turned out in the end. I mean, it, as I said, you got on that rail and nothing could stay with you. Um, what kind of feel did he give you? Well, uh, I have to dig in along a, a bit earlier than what I was expecting, because probably on the on the near side, the track is not fast as the the far side, and uh, so I was facing with some even stumbling sometimes. But still, it's it's tough horse, you know. He keep going, and uh, when he got the rail, I think it was a plus for him because uh, normally when I saw his race, he's uh, lying a little bit. Always he tends to lie on the right side, and today on the right side was the rail, so it was a good point for him. And for you, what does it mean? Uh, you've been out here, you've been very successful here in the past, but this is your first victory in the Bahrain Turf Series. Yeah, it's amazing because, you know, in the Arab countries especially, people, they forget your, uh, your abilities very, very quickly and very easily. So you have to prove all the time you are, you are in, a, in good form and you try always your best. Well, let's have a word with winning trainer then, John John Quinn. Um, this horse has been knocking on the door, as we've been saying, in the, the Turf Series races so far. Um, what did you expect from today? And I'm sure you didn't expect him to, to win by that margin anyway. Um, well, uh, we were very pleased with him since he came out here. He'd been running better and better. And the, and the last day, the horse that beat him had some <clears throat> top-class form in England as a two-year-old. <clears throat> so we thought probably we, we ran into a... Um, a very decent three-year-old, you know. Um, <clears throat> since since he ran the last day, he'd been training nicely. We were happy with him. Obviously, his best form's over six, but um, he's never been slow, <clears throat> and he loves top of the ground. So yeah, we're, we're delighted. It's lovely to win here. Well, for a, a horse that prefers six, he, he certainly showed some pace out of the gate. Yes, he did. Um, and how good was Alberta Sanna? Oh, very good. And I mean, he's um, tactically when I when I spoke to him before the race, he'd done his homework, which is always reassuring. And JM Jungle ran a good race as well. He ran a good race. I mean, he was probably, he was drawn a bit in the middle and he was a little bit lonely. Um, but he, he came home well and I was very pleased with him. And for this one then, we'll be looking ahead to the, the remaining couple of um, Turf Series races. He's, he's flexible in terms of his, his trip. Yeah, uh, there's a race here on the second and we'll see. So, yeah, and he seems to enjoy the sun and the fast ground, so... And nice to have the owners here as well. It's very important to have Peter, who owns him, bred him as well, which is wonderful.
Because how long has this been the plan for him and what, why did you think conditions would suit? The, the um, Bar Bahrain have made it very appealing for people to bring horses here, great prize money and it, um, this is the first time I've been here but watching on television we, we thought if we, if we had the suitable ones we'd come. <clears throat> my, my son Sean who's my assistant does a lot of the f form with me and we thought um, that JM Jungle and Brazen Bold would be a good fit for Bahrain this winter. I think you proved, well, he's proved you right given their, uh, their results over the last few weeks, but particularly today. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. And the result is now official. They have weighed in. The result's official. They have weighed in. And uh, the result, first number three, Brazen Bolt. Second number 16, Squealer. Third number 18, Ocean Star. And fourth, number 13, Nationwide. The fifth horse home was number 11, JM Jungle. The distance is one length and three quarters of a length. That's one length and three quarters of a length. And the official time of the winning horse, 57.62. 57.62. The result's now official. Weighed in, weighed in. International trainer John Quinn, victory to Yorkshire. Violin. Well then, two connections then. Brazen Bolt, the winner of the Al Wasamir Cup by Al Salam Bank. Well, time for a little bit more reflection on Brazen Bolt's victory with not just a owner, but breeder, Peter Fur. How much uh, satisfaction does that give you? Victory here, but a horse that you bred. Well, I'm going to have to say one of the best days of my life. It, it's just fantastic to come home over here and the people have been so good and nice to us and everything. And, and it's the future, Bahrain. I, 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 it was just brilliant. It's just been fantastic, yes. How many horses do you have in training or how many do you breed? We've got uh, two horses in training and uh, one that we've just bred off the same mare, a golden horn, so we're hoping for the future for him, and he'll go to John's, the same trainer, so yes, it's, it's, it's very good for us at the moment. Well, you seem to have obviously got the magic touch with just two horses in training, one coming out here and doing so well. How long has this been in the plan then for Brazen Bolt? <laughs> not, not long, only a few months where John phoned me up and said, let's take him to Bahrain, because he loves the ground. He absolutely loves the, the hard ground, yeah. So it's not long, and uh, I mean, John, John's just been fantastic with us, so uh, it, it's been very good, yeah. You obviously were fully behind the plan. Have you enjoyed your trip out here? Three times now. I come every time he's run, and I've supported him, and he ran a second, and uh, then really, we, he's, he's run over seven furlongs. And then I kept saying to John, He's a five furlong, six furlong. Then we tried him over six and he ran, and he ran a second year over six. So, um, what can I say? I'm a bit emotional, actually. It's, really, it's been so good. It really has. Well, a hugely um, adaptable horse running over seven furlongs, six furlongs, and now a winner over five. Yeah, great day. Well, and thank you. Well, enjoy the celebrations and lovely to see you here this afternoon. Well, and then to John Fur, who not only just owned the winner, Brazen Bolt, but also bred him.